Hi, it's Tom with Heritage Electrical. Um, in this video, I just want to talk through a little bit of work we've done on this customer's um, valent heating system. Um, so obviously the boiler was already in place, uh, all the pipe work, etc. But in the work that we've completed in the extension, um, there's some new underfloor heating that's gone in there. Uh, so here's the pipe work which is supplying the new underfloor heating system in the extension. Now in the process of doing this, um, the customer previously had a VR70 um, wiring centre which only gives you two heating loops. So we have changed this for a VR71 which adds an extra heating loop in so that we can supply um, the extension underfloor. So let's just have a quick look in here. Um, R1, R2 and R3 relate to your three heating loops. Um, so these would be power going out to zone valves as required. Um, there's only two out of three zone valves being supplied here uh, out to the underfloor heating that, that we've added. There isn't a zone valve there. There's a, um, a separate manifold which we've talked through in one of our other videos. Um, R1 relates to S2 up here, so that's a temperature sensor. R2, S3, that's the temperature sensor for R2, and R3, S4, um, that's the temperature sensor for that zone valve. And then over here, S7, uh, sorry, S6, S7, S8 are switch inputs. Um, you can see S7 here, which relates to R2. This uh, is the switch coming from our heat miser, third party uh, heat miser system for the underfloor heating. So that is giving us a, a switch here to uh, fire the boiler and send heat over to the extension. So let's have a look, see what else we've got here. We've got um, a VR920, which gives uh, gateway access for, uh, the inter for internet access uh, and therefore to be able to control the Ambisense TRVs, the wireless TRVs that the customer has on every radiator. Uh, so that allows you to set the, the climate uh, in each room that's got one of those TRVs. Um, obviously the boiler is already in place. Um, there are two switch connections in the boiler. One is a standard RT connection which is 230 volts. So, you know, that's an old school way of switching the boiler on and off. Um, because we've got um, the valent wiring sensor, it's got a bus connection which is a much lower voltage. Um, there's much more you can do with the bus connection uh, as opposed to just switching using the old RT230 volts method. Uh, so all the programming for all this stuff is done using this main controller, it's called a VRC700. Uh, uh, so this is how we can program uh, the VR71 and tell it what we want R1, R2 and R3 to be, whether they're going to be for heating, hot water, um, there's a big cylinder here for separate hot water, so you know you can do all that programming using this uh, VRC700 and we'll have a look at that in another video. We've also got, uh, what's this one called, this is a VR91, so this is a, a separate uh, room stat, you can see they look pretty similar but this is the main controller and this is just a, a separate add-on. Now, going back to the bus connection, um, what makes this really cool is that there's um, an outdoor temperature sensor wired in to this setup as well. Um, older systems, when uh, whatever calls for heat, whether it's a room thermostat or whatever, uh, it's either all or nothing with the heating. But um, what the valence system does is, with the ingestion of that uh, outdoor temperature, it adjusts the heating curve of the boiler so that if uh, one radiator with a TRV is calling for heat and it's you want it to get that room to say 20 degrees, using that information it knows what temperature to heat the loop to to maintain uh, that room at that desired temperature. So rather than just all or nothing, it adjusts the heating curve um, you know, to make the, the heating more efficient. So like I said, we'll have a quick look at these uh, controllers in a moment. Um, this one we've actually taken out of the equation altogether. So although this has a built-in temperature sensor, um, we don't need to use it because all the radiators have TRVs on. So I'll show you how to set that up. This one we are using to 
uh, as the switch input for, for R3 uh, and R3 is the existing kitchen underfloor heating. So this is sat on the windowsill in the kitchen, this is uh, measuring the temperature of the room and then as required it's firing the boiler, opening the zone valve etc to uh, give you underfloor heating in the kitchen.